I was uh, wanting to give this Turley knife a real workout and uh, see if I couldn't carve something up. So I took a piece of wood that looked like this. This is black cherry. This was a down tree that a storm took down. And it had some split chunks of wood hanging off of it, so I broke off a few pieces and strapped them to my pack and brought them home and did some carving and this is what I ended up with. A little fork. I don't know if you can see that. It has a little bit of a bend to it. Started out with that, ended up with that. This wood wasn't very thick, so I couldn't really get too fancy with the bend or anything. But this is my first one. I want to do a spoon and hopefully do a bowl and a spatula as well. But this was just a trial run to see how this knife did. And it uh, did really good, actually. You can see I got a big old box of shavings there. and I went ahead and uh, used this knife to knock off some cottonwood bark as well. And I wanted to make a couple bobbers. This is bobber number one out of cottonwood bark. It's nothing fancy and it's not quite finished. I need to find a way to attach it to the string. I'm thinking about cutting a slit in it and then whittling like a toothpick to slide down in to hold the string in place. Not really sure. But this is a little bit bigger bobber. Hopefully that'd work for holding up a shiner or something, a bigger minnow. And then uh, this here is my smaller panfish bobber or bass bobber, something for using smaller minnows or uh, worms or something like that. Uh, something where you're going to get a light bite. This will lay flat on the water and when you get a bite it will start to tip. So it's good for light biting fish and I put these narrow ends on it because I can take a piece of quarter inch surgical tubing and slide on my line and then this will just, this tubing will fit over this and that will hold my line onto the bobber and I can slide it up and down the line without uh, damaging my line or anything like that. So I think this one's going to work real good. I haven't tested the buoyancy of either one of these. But uh, this was actually going to be the original floating Rapala made out of cottonwood but I'm not that good so I kinda stopped right there and decided that it's gonna be a bobber instead I also uh, carved up uh, took a piece of cedar like this and uh, kinda got a little fancy and carved up a nice spindle and fireboard out of cedar red cedar to make a, uh, a, a fire set for the bow drill and that worked really good. I've carved a whole bunch of stuff with this knife, uh, uh, three or four spindles, two or three fireboards, I hacked some cottonwood bark off of a, a cottonwood tree, I shaved a bunch of it down, uh, I did a bunch of shavings for a fire, feather sticks, uh, all kinds of stuff and uh, this knife is still razor sharp uh, right here it is starting to get just a little bit dull because that's where I do my main hacking with for taking big chunks off when I first start but it will still shave uh, 
and what's funny is this area that is now to me dull uh, before I got this knife I would have considered that very sharp so my perspective of what is sharp and what is not sharp has changed but I'll say this thing definitely holds an edge but I do need to get me some uh, some sandpaper some of that wet dry paper like bindle stitch shows in his video on how to sharpen the the varied convex and I need to try my hand at that because I don't want to let this knife get too dull uh, because it's just going to be that much harder to get sharp. I did get a uh, a big piece of cedar or a big piece of cherry. This is about five feet long, and it's a good two or three inches thick. And this is what I'm going to use to make my spoon and my spatula and maybe a couple other things. But I just wanted to show you that. I asked some questions on the forum about what type, how black cherry would work for this. And a uh, guy gave me a link to some information and I checked it out and he wanted me to post back what I made. So that's what I made. A couple bobbers out of cottonwood bark and a fork out of black cherry. I went ahead and oiled this up with some mineral oil and when I was completely finished um, after I put the mineral oil on it let's see I don't know if you can see it in the video but there's a slight split in this spine going about halfway down right through the center. It's still got some strength. And now that I've oiled this, I don't know if there's any way I can fix that. I don't know if it happened just from exposure to the air or from putting the oil on it or what. But if anybody knows a way that I can fix that, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to post this up at Bushcraft USA. And let you guys see what I did. <clears throat> I'm definitely not an expert in carving or nothing. I know there's guys on there that can do some really fine work. But I was pretty happy. I got a little bit of curve into it and managed to uh, carve out those tines, which was the hardest part. I, f I actually thought doing a fork would be easier than a spoon. And uh, I've never done a spoon, but I'm almost thinking that a spoon would be easier because trying to carve out these tines was a, was a real bear. It took a, it was very tedious. I had to be careful and it took a long time, but it turned out pretty nice. I'm going to actually use this. But well, that's it. Talk to you later.